I didn't think that we would be back at the Disney store so soon, but as we all know, it's been tragic. Only a couple weeks ago, they announced that 60 stores were gonna be closing among the US. I took a look at the list and of course, one of the local Disney stores that was by me was closing. Yeah, so that was a prediction that I did not want to come true, but unfortunately it's come true. In the last video, we talked about the possibility if this was going to close. I didn't think it would happen, but yet here we are saying goodbye. So I went about a week before it shut down and coupon in hand that they gave me, I was off to see what I could find, what was left over here. It's a fact of life, but it is very sad when it comes down to it, especially walking to that store, there was no magic left. And that's the saddest thing about it all, is that everything was pushed up to the front, even though I went a week before it actually shut down, there was still nothing really exciting to find. I tried to focus on what was still available merchandise wise, so we had a lot of clothing in bins, as you can see. And then you can start seeing that the wall space is becoming emptier and emptier. It was 30% off when it went. And of course, lots and lots of plush. Basically the plush and toys were the only things that were around here. And again, tried to focus on what was left, but you can still see that there's a lot of empty space. They had a ton of face masks, of course, too, all for a dollar at that point, or $3 as that one shows. And a little bit left of jewelry that I did grab, but then more clothes afterwards. The signs have been there for a while and we have seen that retail is dying, but I didn't think it would affect our wonderful Disney store. Now I don't have any place to go to escape while I'm having Disney withdraw. The obvious option is going online. You still have Shop Disney. They were promoting it with the coupon and they definitely want most of their business to come from online. This is a standard business practice I've been seeing happening a lot, especially with the time that we're in. And you can go look and see a lot of what they have. Obviously they have more available online than they ever would in the stores because they can store everything in a warehouse instead of sending it all over the place. But the difference is it's not as fun. And that's what I keep saying. And you do have your categories. You can click and scroll all you want, but we all know that it's different. It's so much more fun to go in and see what they have and just be surprised and find some treasures instead of searching for it over and over again, even though it's very easy to do. The existence of the Disney store is not extinct yet. But with 60 stores closing, who knows when the next round is going to be, if there's a next round, and how more rare the experience is going to become, especially as retail continues to keep on dying out. Obviously, the fact that we're in a COVID world, that's the major part of why businesses are dying. It's understandable, and it's not going to be the last of it but who knows how much further it's gonna go. In my opinion, it is true that a lot of the stuff that you found down in the parks were a lot more unique and interesting compared to what you found in the Disney store. I think a lot of people have said this too, I'm sure you might agree, that the Disney store catered more to children compared to just adults. There, especially with this round, the only things that were left were plush and toys and clothes. So nothing really exciting my silly thought would be, oh, well maybe I'll find the Lego set that I want, even though the store has been on sale for like two weeks by that point I went. So hoping to find some silverware, but that also went. So there wasn't anything that was really catered to adult Disney fans. I would have to say that as a whole, the Disney store holds about maybe 60% to children and then 40% to adults. This is something that I'm gonna have to look into the next time I'm able to visit again, even though it won't be the same location, because I am curious to take a look at this by statistics. The decline of the Disney store is here, but it's not extinct yet. So we still have a little bit more time to continue to document 
what's happening with the other locations and see the changes. Didn't think this would be a continuing series, but yet again, it'll be a continuing series <laughs> as we take a look to see what's gonna happen. So while I was holding in my sadness and eternally crying, walking around, seeing how empty the store was, I still had to pick up some goodies because even though there was nothing really exciting that I found on this trip, I still needed to grab stuff because I am forever part of this Disney cult. So I added more things to my collection that I did not need. Of course, bag in hand, we got some goodies. You could probably guess that most of the stuff I got was plush and more plush. And more plush. I got the three together, even though I have a lotso. I wanted a mini little lotso because it smells like strawberries. And even more plush because I didn't have a source for Mickey. I also got this really cool light up pen that I haven't even tested out, but it lights up. So it's cool automatically. <laughs> and because I'm a Marvel fangirl, I grabbed Endgame because I did not have it on Blu-ray. And to top everything off, I got some jewelry that I did not need, but these have some Swarovski crystals on them. And I was looking for more Mickey jewelry anyway, so it worked out. I hope that you will join me along this journey, this weird journey where we're talking about the demise of one of the best stores ever created, if that's a thing. But until next time, I hope you guys have a magical day and I will see you real soon.